Morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to channel 48 on this Sunday. Yep, yep, kind of rainy here, peeps. <laughs> yeah, we had way better weather last week, but this week it's only rain. But I love the rain, so I'm not complaining. Welcome again. So, uh, first, I want to thank you for all the happy birthday wishes that you uh, left me on my previous video. Thank you so much for that, really appreciate it even some names that i did not see for a long time so welcome back you all thank you uh, for yeah for the love i appreciate it and today i want to uh, share a video with you that uh, is about creating a room uh, well in fact um you know some people are wondering i wish i could flash a gsi via twerp uh, they don't have no dynamic partitions and you know the twerp is is yeah not suitable it does not have a system partition to to select to you know install a gsi so for these uh, kind of devices uh, of, yeah somebody created a tool called gsi flasher and with gsi flasher you can create your own zip room that will actually install but if it will work that is of course always the question uh, if it's actually gonna boot up but um, yesterday somebody asked me for the a50 i think it was and then i remember that i saw an article about the a51 and um well in this video we're gonna go ahead and create um uh, android 14 gsi for uh for the a51 even though i don't have the phone uh and even though it will work on the a51 it could as well work maybe on the a50 or the a52 or the 53 depending on the hardware you know i'm not sure what the difference is between the a50 and the a51 you could ask chat gpt about that you know so if you if you're wondering um but it could as well work on some device that we don't know because it's a rom it's in fact a rom with a gsi in it and yeah it will install fine thanks to the meta and everything that is in there that will you know let the rom be installed onto any device but if it actually gonna work on any device that is the question so let me show you how to create a rom like that okay peeps welcome what you're looking at is my desktop and i'm gonna open uh, a screen here and the zip that you're gonna download that is called gsi flasher you see that i have two builds here uh, open it with with uh, extract open with uh, windows zip okay just open it with windows zip then copy this to a folder and that folder i already created and that is in my phone's kitchen here it is and i created a little folder in that folder and here you can see I'm gonna bring it closer if you unpack you're gonna have these three folders like that not this file okay this file is not supposed to be here let me delete it so these three folders you're gonna have and now you're gonna as well see that we have a folder called gsi now in the gsi yeah we're gonna put in that folder we're gonna put in this case android 14 with gaps um the gsi that i shared with you and we're gonna make sure that we rename it to system it's very important because if you don't rename it to system yeah it's gonna it's gonna get an error all right so you rename it to system and in fact you're already there 
So the GSI that you download, of course, yeah, you're gonna first unpack it. You're gonna unpack it. Oops, date modified. You're gonna unpack it, but of course, and then after you unpacked it, you're gonna copy the image that you will find in there to a place, for instance, on your desktop. And here you can see the images. Here I have an image from Havoc OS. I as well have uh, another image that is in here. That is the one that I shared with you yesterday. The Android 14 Beta 4 with gaps. All right, but this is a GSI. All right, so we need the image file, the one that we picked. Uh, unpacked out of the G set file that we downloaded from, for instance, Nippon or PHUSEN uh, or anyone. They all are packed, and after opening the file, the unpacking, you're gonna find the actual image. This is what you need the image. And that one you need to copy to the folder that I was talking about, the GSI folder, and whenever you renamed it to system. System image, you're gonna then select them all, right mouse click, oops, select them all, right mouse click, show more options, and then 7-zip, and add to archive. Now, make sure if you created bootable, uh, 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 if you created uh, boot animations, then it will be set the compression level to store. You see, and here will, you won't see anything in here, but this is not a boot animation that we're creating. So we're gonna set it to normal. And here you're gonna see deflate and uh, deflate 64. Don't let the 64 uh, um, uh, confuse you. Just li leave it on deflate and 32 KB, etc. Blue, blue, blue. Okay, and give the ROM a name. So we we could we we could we could call this um, um, how could we call this universal universal Android fourteen ROM yeah Android fourteen beta four ROM. Okay, though, because this is effect, yeah, it will work on more devices. But we can as well put here A51. And, and uh, okay. And then it's going to create the ROM. Okay. And effect, yeah, I already created the ROM. It's now in my trash can, you see? So I can, if I put this one back, 133, and this one is 131, I'm gonna just delete them. Let's just create the ROM. And go back. You see it's being created here. 7-zip is working on the background. Important to do it with 7-zip. Don't give the, uh, don't give the, how you say that? The ROM, the extension 7-zip. Neither give it the extension uh, uh, RAR, okay? Because that is unknown to Android. It's zip uh, or, you know, that or maybe that BR or GSI image, you know, but it's nothing like RAR or 7-zip. So I'm gonna let this go and get back to you when this is done. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's done. The ROM became 1400 megabytes, 1 1.4 gigabyte, okay? So now this ROM can be copied if we're gonna open it you're gonna see that we're gonna see the same files again. 
and in there the GSI that we renamed system okay sorry for the bad quality video but it's not about the video it's about you knowing what to do so yeah all right so now we created the ROM for the a51 will it work on for instance let me see which phone i have free here yep i can look but i don't have no devices that will uh yeah be able to successfully boot up this rom even though it will install fine onto uh the devices that i have up here uh yeah it will not actually boot okay so to make it boot yeah you must have great luck you should have a high-end device out there that could run these kinds of uh yeah gsis and 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 roms all right it should have enough power to do so so don't try this on the s2 or on the s3 <laughs> please don't do that okay um but this is uh, how to convert a gsi straight up to a rom and then yeah flash it just flash along and god bless you if you have a booting phone and that will work for you uh, it should work on the a51 and maybe the A50 will as well have luck uh, installing this ROM. I sit back to the studio. Well, that was it. That is how to create a ROM with GSI flasher, a GSI that you're gonna flash in your dwarf. But as you could see, even though it installs fine, uh, it's not being said that it will actually as well boot up. On the Redmi 7A, I think because of the dynamic partition, um, it uh, is yeah, it's getting stuck in some way. So I think the only way we can make it work on the Redmi is, I really don't know. I think only a port can make it work, okay? Um, and on the S9, same thing as well. A port will make it work and bring Android 14 to these devices or something should happen very soon that somebody finds a way how these GSIs can still be installed onto these devices, but I would not count on it, okay? Cause I've been trying and trying and I failed so many times and break my phone so many times. We could easily fix it back if you just know what to do. So never be scared. Although, don't do too crazy things. Don't try to flash, uh, for instance, a Lavender ROM to the Mido, Android 40 Lavender ROM to the Mido. I, I'm just giving an example. I once did it with Android 13, and then my Mido died. It was not turning on anymore. And uh, thanks to the Qualcomm that was still connecting to the PC, I could open it and with some pins connected on the motherboard to crazy fix peeps but i fixed it back my mido is uh, working just fine again however yeah android 14 i don't know i think only magicians can uh, can do that so if you're a ma magician out there uh yeah show us and uh bring these builds uh, as well to these devices i want to thank you for watching i hope you like this video and then you'll be seeing me in the next video again wish you a great sunday and have a beautiful day with your family.